Hello, amazing and incredible and fabulous and magnificent Minecrafting fam and happy, wonderful, whimsical, wacky, wonderlust, as my nephew Dimitri said this morning, hump day, what, what, and happy, magnificent holidays to all of you, and I hope you had an incredible and magnificent Christmas, and before I forget, I want to wish you a Happy New Year to all of you with many amazing, wonderful showers of incredible and magical blessings being sent to all of you and also to me and my family, of course. So, my name is Caridad. I am your Mind Elf holiday host. <laughs> Welcome back to the Minecrafting Doc channel. I am an LMHC, Licensed Mental Health Counselor, and I have an EDD, Doctorate in Counseling Psychology. For all of you who are back, thank you so much. It is an honor, and I give you thumbs up for all you do, how incredible you are, and for always making time to hang out with me. And for those who are, of you who are new, thank you for showing up and giving this a try. So, with that being said, I'm going to throw one of those things that I see in all the YouTubes. If you wait to the end of the video, I'll show you some cool stuff. That's not going to happen. I'm going to show it all to you right now. And if you do not mind, give this video a thumb up if you like my magic elf hat. And also, if you like this video today, you are more than welcome to give the future ones <laughs> a thumbs up if you remember. So, okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to start with, because, you know, I tend to do the same thing over and over again. For my brain, because it likes repetition, so it can remember stuff. That's why it's so important to practice the things we want our mind to get and do different. And you also create these new neural pathways. So hello to neural mental pathways. What, what? Okay, so here we go. First, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing, which is my ugly sweater. And why not, right? It's still the season. And here in Florida, where I live at, and it's a Ruskinite, we don't have ugly sweater parties. We should have ugly t-shirt parties. But anyways, with that being said, I love this little ball. Oh, yellow ball. Oh, yellow ball. <laughs> so here's my sweater. You see the dinosaurs are getting it on. They are partying. What, what? And do you see the lights? Can you see the lights? Can you see it? Wait, wait. Let me turn. Can you see the lights? Can you see them? Can you see this way? Can you see them this way? <laughs> Maybe you can see them when I sit down. Anyways, I love it, and it has lights. Maybe you can see them here. Let's see. No, maybe they turned off. I can't see them anymore. <laughs> oh, I can't see them. Can you see them? Can you see them? There they go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, maybe we need total darkness. Boy, this is taking up too much of our time. Let's see if you can see them now. dinosaur Christmas party whoa whoa where's that camel all right let's get back to it so let me turn on the lights oh my mouth is all in this picture let's get the whole picture <laughs> the whole face okay here we go so let me tell you why I am wearing this elf hat and if you stay till the end of this video we'll talk a little bit about grapes all right so the reason I'm wearing this magic elf hat is in honor of all the magical elves out there who are such amazing Santa's helper, like my girl, Terry, who went ahead and gave me all these wonderful things that were left by her friend who was so touched and loved Terry so much. So she shared that with me. Also, Julie, thank you so much, Julie. Julie shared so many wonderful things that she had and she shared them all with me to include one of the older but still newer crickets which let me tell you this story really quick my niece so to tell you about god winks my niece was um asking me i would like a cricket i like to do one of those things you do those machines you use to, to carry i would like to have my own one of those crickets and i was like yeah no don't think so <laughs> those are really expensive we'll wait on it and out of nowhere, Julie's giving me some stuff. I go get it yesterday, and she had a cricket in there. I call my niece. My niece is like, what? I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. It's so wonderful. So thank you so much, Julie, 
for the Cricut. My niece is having a blast and I love all the wonderful gifts and the storage that you gave me. It is just incredible and then some. And then last but not least, my girl Linda. Linda also gave me so many of her goodies, new and used, and it's just so many gorgeous things. So those are my magical elves giving me all these wonderful things that they have shared, that they have, that they can keep, that they can sell, that they can give to anyone else, and they shared them with me. So I am so like beyond touched, and I adore and love you all. And here's some kisses, and here's a smile. <laughs> all those wonderful things that you shared with me and I'm so grateful. All right, so let's talk about crafting. So I wanted to first share what my girl Terry Marcus from the Ya Ya Collection, she has her own YouTube. She made this for me. Look at that from Dreaming Tree. But she downloaded the SVG. She went ahead and picked the paper. She cut out the stuff. The star, she says, was the most complicated. But look at that gorgeous star. I love this. I love this. And when you pick it up, there's a star underneath. Why? Because we are all surrounded by magic and the magic of all these beautiful stars. And here's the best part that I love about this wonderful gift box that Terry made. It goes all the way around. Do you see all that bling? Oh my God. So thank you to Dreamy Tree. Thank you to my girl, Terry, for manifesting this and bringing it to life and sharing it with me as a Christmas gift. I love this. Oh my God. <laughs> so that's one of the things. And here's the other thing. I love snow globes. And my girl made me a snow globe card from Anna Griffin. But look at that. Oh my God. You see the snowman in there? You see that gorgeous paper? Look at that little tiny poinsettia with the little jewel on it. Look at the tree, that little Christmas tree. Oh my God, with all the embellishments, all that bling on it. Look how beautiful that card is. And of course, it is an easel card. So what it does is it stands in this way. Is that not gorgeous? Let me see if I can put that back. That is beautiful. So thank you, my girl, for the gorgeous gifts. And the last thing, I want to talk about Anushka, <laughs> which I first bought from Evine, which is not Shop HQ. And at one point, they were on HSN. My husband got me these wonderful, beautiful, just crafted and artistically made handbags. So this one is a Christmas one. It's got Santa there. Oh, my God, it's just so beautiful. And do you see, this is hand-painted on leather. I don't know if it's fall, leather, leather, or real leather. We're not going to talk about that part, but I think it's fall. So anyways, look at that. Look at the craftsmanship. The Oh my God, they colored this. They put this and then put this hand back together. And look at the back of it. All the houses, the trees, and there you read, Anushka. So if I don't love anything I lo at all about the bag or you don't, the name is incredible, but of course, I love the bag. So I'm moving right along. So you know, we are talking about 10 reasons to smile every day. Top 10 reasons to smile every day. So we are on number one and number four. So number one, it says smiling. Hold down here. I got to get my gadget. Smiling helps you live longer. And if you want to live longer, why not? So do one <laughs> with me so we can get some extra years. Oh, yeah. That's right. All right. So smiling helps you live longer. And this is what the science folks says. Overall, happy people seem to enjoy better health and longevity. Though, more research is needed to understand why that is. Research does suggest that happiness could increase lifespan by years, suggesting maintaining a happy, positive mood may be an important part of living a healthy lifestyle. So here we go. You want to expand your lifespan? <laughs> and number four, I hinted a little bit about this the uh, last time we met, but here it is. Smiling is contagious stop and let's say it again 
together. Smiling is contagious. And while you're saying it, why not smile? So here's why smiling is contagious. Make sure you lend me your ear and listen in. <laughs> How many times have you heard that a smile has the power to light up the room? I've heard it many. While it is certainly a beautiful sentiment, it carries a hint of truth. Just a hint, but more than enough. Smiling not only has the ability to elevate your mood, but it can also change the moods of others for the better. So when you see somebody grumpy and not feeling no best, go ahead and throw a little... <laughs> you might get slapped though. So beware how you do it. But now you know. Your brain automatically notices and interprets other people's facial expressions. Automatically. And sometimes you may even mimic them. I like that word. Mimic. Mimic me. Mimic. Mimic me. <laughs> I'll say it a few times. Okay, maybe you can mimic me wearing this hat. Does this hat alone should make you throw this a little bit. <laughs> and look, look. Oh my God. Interruption. I got Rudolph on my ear. And on the other side, if you can see, yeah, you could see it. There's a cactus with Christmas lights. Why? Because the Florida weather is back and that's why I love it here. Okay. That means that you might not, oh, I'm so sorry. That means that you might spot someone else, smile, and unconsciously, unconsciously, smile yourself. Yes. It is scientifically proven that smiles are contagious. It is scientifically proven that smiles are contagious. So from here on out, know that when you smile, you spread the magic of a smile like a disease and other people will get it. But this is a good disease, not a bad disease, metaphorically speaking. So with that being said, now you know. So I am going to share now, because I skipped because I wanted to go into that. So you know, in case of you who don't, didn't want to hang out with me, but I hope you did. Okay, so here we go. What is the saying? It is from Hallmark again, because I am Hallmarking all. So, tease the season to be merry. 2022 is the movie. And what it says, and I want you to hear this and record it and give yourselves those in your pathways. What's meant for you won't get by you. What's meant for you won't get by you. Don't forget that. What's meant for you, and this is all positivity, not no negative stuff, not no bad karma. It's all good stuff. What's meant for you won't get by you. So go on ahead and take that in and keep it in because it's amazing and wonderful. And I also heard that when you go like this, spread your arms out and say, I expect greatness. You get it all. You get it all. So spread those arms out, smile, and expect nothing but the best and I think I got a little off but I'll get it when I read again happy for no reason because it's in there and it's a wonderful book that just massages the brain with all the good stuff all right and last but not least besides that I'm dying in the sweater because of course I'm in Florida <laughs> I sacrifice for you all right so smile at that okay last but not least wanted to talk about the you know this is the time when some of us don't have the people that we love and adore and that we love being around us and they are no longer here. So what do we do? What do I do? I celebrate them and I bring them to life energetically and mentally and my body feels it by practicing and doing a lot of the things that they loved. I keep them alive because just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not near. So my mom used to have us <laughs> buy grapes. So a total of 12, one for every month. And each grape you eat at midnight, right before midnight. So like 12.59, I would say you start eating it. I'm sorry, 11.59, you start eating the grapes and you eat them as it countdowns or maybe 11.55 because it might take you a while to think through it. So 11.55, you start eating the grapes and as you eat each grape, you say something that you want to happen for that next year. One grape would be, I am whole and well. One grape would be for my girl, Terry, no more mind grape. My one grape would be for Julie and her family, just complete and total, wonderful, amazing, healing, pain-free. 
and also applies to me. One great would be just showered with heavy favor. One great would be I just go ahead and hit lotto. What not? Why not? One great would be I buy that Defender. <laughs> One great would be I went motorcycle driving. One great would be oh, I want to drive a manual. You get the picture. So buy your 12 grapes if you don't practice it. Look it up because my son, Kenji, was looking it up and find all the people that do it, not just us. But my mom would have us wear all new clothes. And if you couldn't afford all new, just the panties and, you know, the undergarments. And also, we would eat the 12 grapes besides the other festivities, the music, the food. But those 12 grapes. And you know what's so amazing? My husband has never practiced that act before until he met me. I think if I have that wrong, hubby, let me know. <laughs> Something new to learn. But it is so incredible how he will remember, hey, did you get the 12 grapes? And they could be green grapes, uh, the purple ones. I think they're purple. Or whatever color of grapes you eat. And he remembers that and he makes sure he buys those 12 grapes for us. So it's just mind-blowing and amazing and awesome. And that's why I love and adore him so much. Because that which he does not practice as a norm he practices by being part of loving me. So I love that. So I love you back, hubby. And lots of it. And with that being said, happy, amazing new year to all of you. And don't forget to get your grapes. <laughs>